Well, welcome everyone to the Center for Global Development. I'm Amanda Glassman. I'm the Director for Global Health here. Um, after a decade of support to low-income countries for vaccination and with an upcoming replenishment in June, we thought it was a good time to reflect on Gabby's sources of financing in the past and take a look at the outlook for the future. More than any other organization in global health, Gavi has pioneered the use of innovative financing. Only a third of the funding was direct or traditional over the past decade. So I think that's a really interesting characteristic of Gavi. Today, we're really fortunate to have Alice Albright, who's the former CFO of Gavi and who worked together with many others to make the International Finance Facility for Immunization a reality. We're also honored to have Professor Michael Kramer of Harvard University here, who first published a paper on the advanced market commitment in 2001. So that's 10 years ago, maybe exactly. You can tell us what month you wrote it in. And who also served as the co-chair of CGD's 2003 to 5 working group on the AMC. And I've asked both speakers to reflect on the achievements of these mechanisms and, with the benefit of hindsight, discuss lessons learned and the outlook for the future. We'll then turn to the futurology portion of our program. I'll talk briefly about Gabby's past funding and its characteristics and talk through one potential scenario for the future. We're very, very honored to have Helen Evans and David Ferreira from the Gabby Alliance here today to describe their views of financing going forward. And finally, we've asked Deputy Assistant Administrator Amy Batson of USAID and one of the mothers of Gabby to reflect on today's program and the future. I hope you don't mind that I just called you the mother of Gabby, one of the mothers. And after that, we'll open for questions and discussion and we'll close with a reception. So thank you very much for joining us. And I'll turn over the podium to Alice Albright.